13 and been in the game two years and when I'm hot 50 cent cut and stop my career I'm independent like Michael Jordan in 97. My name is TJ. I'm 13 years old and I live in the Bronx. I like to play basketball. I like to rap. I like to write. I like to hang with my family and friends. When it comes to school I'm my average TJ. My average TJ with an 80 or 90 average in class that does what he's supposed to and then when it comes to in the industry I'm the big old I'm not. That kid that's on his way, TJ. You gotta know how to keep this guy away from this guy because you're two different people, but still the same, but just two different people when it comes to two different categories. So, so basically how I separate myself is like not trying to put my craft resources into school, like showing people or like being, being the center of attention of being that rapper, being the next star. Being a role model is like do, doing good things so like kids or parents could see, be like this kid, be like that kid. He's, he has good grades, he's well-mannered, and then he's respectful, and he has an education. I think Jay-Z is a good role model because he, he has bigger goals because now he has his own empire state. He runs his own business, record label, and like he's just doing, he's just staying in his lane and doing what he's supposed to. TMA stands for talented, motivated, ambition. I'm talented, like I know I know how to play with words, I know how to perform, I'm motivated to do better, and I have ambition to become better and higher. My main motivation is like trying to be hot, like real higher, like worldwide, international, like Michael Jackson. Like we we know that like Puff Daddy, he's he's big, like everybody knows him, but everybody know Michael Jackson around the world. Anybody and anybody knows Michael Jackson around the world. So I want to be like Michael Jackson or anybody who knows me around the world for somebody to mention who's your favorite artist and then they could say my name and then it could be like, oh, I know that kid and it could be from different places of the world. I appreciate my brother a lot because he's the one that helps me. Like if, he, if I don't know what I'm doing, he could be the second like voice to be like, yo, I don't think you should do that. I think you should do this better and I think you should do that. So I really appreciate my bro, but he sometimes he can get on the nerve, but I look out I look out for him and he looks out for me. My dad is a producer, a director, so he produces people's songs like mixes it and fixes it. And so it was like he was mixing other artists that I liked their music and then like I seen the experience of them becoming big, like, well, not big, well, on their way to doing what they're supposed to and be on that right track. He didn't really see like a series, a, a, a series, a serious like feeling in me that I really wanted to do something because it was just I used to do like a minute I used to play outside hang around and to, and then the, it shocked him like like wow you want to rap and you brought me some lyrics and that was actually good and then and then it was just like that so he was like I gotta hear another rap and then I spent another rap to him and then he was like man you're good and it was actually a masterpiece and then he was like you're really good. Um, sometimes when I'm about to perform, I get like a little butterfly, but it just, it just it just flies away. And then once when I'm finally on the stage, that's how I know that oh you're on the stage, you can't do you don't got that you don't have to be nervous no more because now you got the feel and you get to see how everybody's rocking with you. And so basically, when I get on the stage and then I perform it, I start getting comfortable with the crowd, and then that's how I ended off with a good performance. <laughs> 40 seconds, can I get your attention, please? I know you came from Russia, and I like to get your attention. Back in the days, I heard Biggie Twat Jigger, the greatest sweat, the best. I rap, I lose my liver. Think of a master plan, just to make it some bands. I'm known on the ledge, I'm blowing just like a fan. Picture me being the best MC. Yeah, my baby's kids call me a little OG. My flow so sticky, like cocky, nobody stop me. Knock you out like Rocky, my chain diamonds are so rocky. I'm the man of the hour. See, I got the rapping power. If you know, I got the juice, no artificial one, no powder. Yeah, as now, my only friend is the microphone. I'm so fly like the DJ. I fly and drone When I grab the mic I burn a hole in the speaker This gold ring so big My finger turn to pinker CMA is the scene See we getting cream We find a record labels And shattering others' dreams I'm hot like some rocha You school lunch me This math of rapids I'm the teacher I can teach 12 plus 12 Plus is 24 If you don't know me Don't trust me That's Tupac Shakur uh, 
I'm the best of the best when I spit on the mic. I blow it up and then I jet. Uh, I'm 14, doing this crap since I was 11. Before rapping, I was acting just when I was seven. Now everybody say I'm a microphone fiend. Cuban link J's on, blue cut graffiti jeans. Cumbies and flat tops, honeys and hops. Got my jersey seat number one. No rolls, I'm just top notch. Go kart driving in the fast lane. Another bad creation, TMA. We in the game. Boy, I'm mature and you hear it in my tone. You still acting dumb, but you got a smartphone. Oh, y'all youngins, it's your last supper. Cause when is my time to eat? I ain't share nothing. No mini shows, no interviews, or spotlights. I get an entree, dinner, and the appetite. I'm hungry, like I'm stranded up for seven days. But I'ma find my way to eat up in different ways. Uh, I'm the microphone fiend, baby. I spit lava on these sacks until they burn, baby. <laughs> Wait, I was supposed to say banana. Knock down. I'm sorry. Banana. Banana, who? Banana split. It's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs>